I'm Patrick Bailey with whiteboardcoder.com. Today is November 26, 2018, and in this video I'll be replacing the drive the passenger side door handle on my 1999 Toyota Sienna minivan. Okay, here's the actual handle I bought. Uh put this up in the show notes a link. I bought it on Amazon for about 20 bucks, 25 bucks shipping and handling. Uh just for anyone who needs that convenience. <clears throat> now I had this happen to my passenger side. Mm. Almost a year ago now, I guess. I have another video on that, on the not passenger. I said that was opposite. On the driver's side handle, I broke that about a year ago, and I have a video on that, how to replace that. It should be the exact same process, except for on the other side. So with that, let's go get it fixed. Okay, so here is the piece that I ordered. Just to show you. Got that little guy there. And I'm going to replace this, which is worn out just like the other side did. And if you come here, you can see it's cracked. And so it still kind of works, but you can see this whole mechanism just comes apart. And so it's really hard, and it looks like it's just going to snap any time. So I'm going to replace this whole thing. Now, this is just black. I think you can get ones that match, but I mean, the paint's faded too after 20 years, so... I don't know if there's much of a point, so I'm just going with black, just like I did on the other side, and it should look okay. So the first thing I need to do is we've got to take this door off. And this door, if I remember correctly, is held on by four bolts. There's one bolt there, there's one hiding behind this, and then you got to pop this off, and there's two here, and then you can get the door off. So, I will try this. So I will pop this little thing off. There's a screw. And then this guy, I recall being a pain. There you go, pops off. You can see it kind of hooks in there. You just put it in and slam it down when you're done. Uh, and there's the, there you go, screw there, screw there. So I'm going to take all of them off. Two. Good. Three. It's always fun when a neighbor walks by and says, Hi, while you're recording, huh? <laughs> That's okay. I'd rather have friendly neighbors, right? Okay, and there's the fourth one. Okay. Now, this door, it's kind of hooked in here. It's got like a hook the whole way. And then it's kind of got little hooks all the way around. So, best way to do is sometimes you gotta dig in here. And I start using at the bottom. You can kind of pop those out. And mine, not too much hooked back there, so it came out pretty easily. And then you usually gotta lift. Oh, it's got more. I forgot I gotta take this thing off too. That kind of pops out. There we go. Now I should be able to there you go, lift a little bit and wiggle it out. But at this point, be careful because it's still attached with its electronics. And if I remember last time, I think I did a 180 on this. Let's see. What's the best way to dehook this? Ah, right there. Maybe. Oh, no, wait. Right. Ah. Oh, it's got two places. It's got this right here. Let me pull this one out. Here we go. Now, I can do a little bit of a 180 so I can eat more easily access this guy. And you can see right here, we've got these two connected in. So I should be able to push this in, pull that out. Same thing here, push it in, pull it out. And there we go, door's off. So now I can set that aside. Ah, fun, fun, fun. Okay, now 
on to the next step. Okay, now this is a fun part trying to show because that's held on by two 10 millimeter bolts, if I remember right. So you gotta pull this down. And let's see if we can show it here. Get a nice light down here. There is one of them right there. So you gotta take that guy out. And also the second one is on the side. And this one is a bit of a pain. I don't know if you can see it through here. You gotta go through this hole right here. Can you see that? No, because your light's in the way. Oh. Yeah, I can see it went. Okay. That one. Yeah, it's in there. <laughs> it's hard to see. There's a 10 millimeter bolt back there. Uh, and so I've got an extender just to make life easier, but you don't need one to get this off. There we go, 10 millimeters. So, only thing is be careful not to drop the bolt. You can get down and retrieve it, it's not that bad, but then you gotta go get down and retrieve it. And after I say that, watch, I'm gonna drop one down there, which is exactly what happened a year ago. When I was doing the video, I was like, be careful. And then I dropped it. Let's see if there's a... it yet but I'm going to almost okay almost got it I think I just got it dropped I got hooked in there dang it see I say that and then I do it oh, there. Yeah, I should have got a that would have been a smart thing to do well, anyway, I will go retrieve that and then get on to the second part here. Okay, now if memory serves, the last one I did, you gotta kind of push it forward and pull it out. So it's got a little hook in there, I think. I remember having to wiggle a lot with it to get it the way I wanted because it's still, okay, we got it detached there from the front, because it's still attached. There we go, wiggle it out. Don't need to force anything. But it needs some wiggling. Ah, there we go. Okay, so, I might get some more light in there if I need to. What we have here, oh boy, this is really, <laughs> this is really falling apart. Uh, you can see there's the mechanism. And so you can see, here is this little yellowed piece right here, is this white piece. And that needs to, I need to get this guy off to hook into here because that's the mechanism um, for unlocking the door. But then this guy, I guess this is worn out so much. Oh yeah, it's ripped the whole thing out. Ugh. This is your lock. And so this actually is broken apart. So this screws into here normally, but it's gotten so worn out, this whole back piece, the, the nut to it basically broke out. Wow. Does that mean someone could have stole my really old van? Okay, so we'll pop that off, and it should. I should be able to weasel its way off. It's been a while. Let's see. too much about destroying it. Yeah, 
Yeah. You can kind of see it's kind of a one-way, I shouldn't say, mostly a one-way deal. You get it in there and push it through and you're locked in. And so to get it back out, you have to kind of squeeze these to get it back through, which I may or may not be able to do. Um, but if I don't, it's okay to break this old yellow piece off. Because it's just old and yellowed. But maybe that's what I'll do. off and this should just come off. So I got this exposed piece here. There we go. So now I need to get this guy off which should be a 10 millimeter. I wasn't quite planning on that so let me see what I can do. I wasn't planning on this being off. Oh yeah, it comes right off. So, I don't need this back piece that broke off, but I do need this front piece. This I do need that. So I'll just put that down, and let's see what I can do. So you can see the lock goes in here, and it screws in there. But I'll try to be careful with, well, which one's best to put on first, right? Because which one requires more wiggling in the end? So, I will do this one first. So, you see how you go through? Put that on. Push it through, kind of snaps because it goes over. And this should snap in. And that part's done. And then, put this lock in here. And it's going to be hard to see, but right here, I'm going to go back and put uh, the nut in through that way. And I don't know if I can bend this really well enough for you to see. Yeah, I'm afraid I can't. But... Stop this for a second. I know there's something else I got to do here. Okay, so I got this nut, put that up there, and let me regroup here. Okay, now I recall what I did last time. So, the bolt that we took out from this, I need to temporarily use it to align this because if you see this, this is the bolt we took out here. The bolt that comes in here actually hooks in through here. And if you look at this, you know, well, let me get this one. If you look at this, there's that bolt that goes down here, and this bolt came through here. So to make sure it lines up correctly, and I did this last time too, get this in there, and then temporarily put this bolt through here. Just so it's in the right place. And now, it's going to be hard to show, but I'm putting this bolt through here just can't get a good angle on it. There we go. I gotta get a little tightened. And I may have to go through the door to do that. to see it now. You can see that bolt through there. I need to get, need to get a little higher angle. Anyway, let me go through here. Just because it's easier to get th through this way. Come on, 
get on there. There we go. Okay, that's nice and tight now. Now, I'll take this out. I don't need it in there anymore. That was just to temporarily hold it there. So now in theory, it should be good. Now this is just the fun part, trying to wiggle it all back together. So I'll just kind of put this in there. And I really, I don't think I, I didn't really figure out a technique last time. I just kind of did a lot of wiggling and got it in there. So we will. There we go, let me. So, got the two bolts. I'm going to do the one in here first. See right there? Right there. Too tight. And this guy. Which you should see it lining up in there. It's hard to show with the shadows here. Alright. And then in theory. Hey look. It opens. And now the rest of it, putting it back together, is just reversing what you did. So, you know, cover that up. If you're really stressed about it, you can tape it up a little bit. And then this upside down. We got these two guys. Now these, you can see, which they're obvious which ones goes to which. They're total different shapes, so it's pretty easy to figure out who goes with what. So, snap that back in, snap that one back in, and then I'll do, oh, I do, but I need to, I'm upside down. Yeah, I'm upside down, so let me twist her back around, and then this one, you can see it goes right back in there, boom, and then, you can see right here, we kind of hook over, so I'll hook. You also get, have to get through there too. So I kind of went over. There we go. My not really well hooked in. There we go. There we go. Okay, starting from the front seemed to be a little easier. Okay, now that we're in, you go around, smack all the snaps back in, and then we got this. Huh? Ah, well, I'll get that in a second, yeah. So let me put the four screws back in. So I'll put these two in first. One, two, and then this, it's these little angles here, they just smack down. Just kind of line them up, make sure they're in there. You shouldn't have to crazy force it, it should snap back in with a nice hit. And then this guy, pull it out, put that back in. 
little maneuvering. Oh, yeah, you gotta go a little bit back because there's a hook in there. And back and push it forward a little bit. Put this screw back in. Oh, no, not that one. Little black one. I think. And then finally, this one up here. And I should have a little cap. And a door is back together. And it closes and opens, so done deal. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com. View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username Patman Denver, or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.